What's going on guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over some of the changes in patch update 1.07 in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. A couple of changes made to the game. A few changes made to the game. A few improvements. Um, A few weapons have been buffed. And as always, we're going to go over the updates here on this video. If you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do upload content every single day. Call of Duty videos, tips and tricks, best class setups, update videos, signature weapons and stuff like that. If you guys could do me a favor, drop a like on today's video, turn on notifications, notifications all that good stuff you guys it really does help out and uh, yeah let's get right into it starting things off we're going to be taking a look at the multiplayer aspect specifically multiplayer here not zombies not blackout multiplayer aspect of all the platforms here so today guys and i'll, I'll provide a screenshot here for you guys uh nuketown was added to the rotation and multiplayer playlist and that's great because i have yet to play nuketown i haven't played one game of nuketown yet so i'm excited because all i all i like to play is tdm so now i'm able to play it when it comes up in tdm i'm, I'm excited to try out nuketown i haven't tried it out yet following that here guys updated clan tag and kill counter weapon prestige rewards to use an led display for higher visibility on weapons now i actually show you guys right now what that looks like i actually prestiged my mx9 a while back and i i never prestiged it again because i could never find a clan tag i didn't know where that was when i activated it so i activated it here guys and you can actually see it a lot more clearly it actually looks obviously like you, you can see it does stand out i don't know exactly how the kill counter looks because i haven't prestiged any weapon twice yet but i'm sure it stands out as well not like before where we did not know where it was or it was super hard to find or super hard to see so i think that's pretty cool right there that's a good update finally guys here for the general another update that i personally i'm, I'm a big fan of right now uh players can now equip mastercraft camels under signature weapons as soon as they acquire the signature weapon so you don't necessarily have to do a challenge or complete a challenge or get the reactive camel to then unlock the mastercraft camel get the headshots challenges and all that stuff you don't have to do all of that as soon as you unlock your signature weapon, as soon as you get a signature weapon, that Mastercraft camel will be immediately unlocked and you'll be able to attach that right away. So I think that's great news right there. Playlist update, as you guys can see right here, there is actually something called TDM 100. Uh, TDM 100 is added to the feature category, team deathmatch with a score limit of 100. A lot of people have been asking for that score limit to be 100 instead of 75. So now we get a taste to see how that feels. I'm definitely going to be playing that TDM 100. Hopefully get higher kills, man. And I think this this came at a great time, especially with that double XP coming uh, uh, tomorrow, actually. With that double XP coming tomorrow, this TDM 100 came at a great time because now we can just rack up a lot of kills and a lot of scores. So that's great, man. All right, moving along here, guys, to weapon balances, weapons that have been either nerfed or buffed here. Uh, by the way, you guys let me have it last week, man. Last week, we with patch update 1.05 and I made that one mistake of saying that the SMGs were were nerfed when in fact they were actually buffed you guys let me have it in the comment section Jesus Christ man like I can't make one mistake my god <laughs> here we go guys you guys can see here weapon ballast multiplayer only here uh burst tactical rifles have been adjusted slightly to better define their role as range power position weapons uh with these changes in place weapon balances on weapon balance on the consoles is where we want it to be after the first month of changes and will allow the meta to stabilize before making additional balance passes so what they're basically saying there guys is that they they wanted to make a little bit of a slight improvement on on tactical uh rifles more specifically specific the burst tactical rifles like the abr and the swordfish and we'll get to that in a quick second here uh but what they're saying there also is that they're actually really happy with the way the weapons are balanced at the moment so don't expect a big weapon balance update or weapon balance nerfs or buff uh, update or anything like that anytime in the near future they're actually really happy with this so i guess we'll see whenever the next one is i'm pretty sure whenever they do make changes it's going to be a big update so uh at the moment everything is the way they like they they like it to be all right but looking at the buffs here for the uh, tactical rifles the swordfish was actually reduced upward recoil to achieve a more accurate burst so it definitely made to make they made the swordfish more accurate than it already is uh the abr right over here the abr 223 uh slightly reduced upward recoil so they reduced the recoil on that and they extended the four hit kill range from 25 uh to 32 so that's pretty cool man they're making these burst weapons like i'm not really too big of a fan of burst weapons but i know for a fact that these weapons are are monsters out in the field so it's good to see that they made some slight improvements on these guns and I'll de i'm definitely going to be using these more often so that's pretty good and with the patch update this is the last note that i'm going to touch on here regarding the patch update this is something that's actually pretty interesting and i'm not too sure why they would do something like this i mean it, i don't feel like it's that big of a difference but but when it comes to score streaks they made a score adjustments they reduced the score i'm not going to go over each one i will provide a screenshot here for you guys so you guys can see everything that was adjusted but they've reduced the score the amount score that was needed to get certain score streaks not all of them 
but for the most part a lot of these score streaks were reduced uh at the as a final note here that they make here they say reduce score given for all score streaks from plus 25 to plus 10. slight nerf in the sense of the score that will be given from 25 we used to get now we're just gonna get it now we're just getting a plus 10 but in in regards to that they are easier to obtain a lot of these score sheets are easier to obtain so uh there you guys have that there are score adjustments so definitely if you guys have any score streaks that you've been going after and you just feel like you haven't been able to get now's your time to take a look at this list here and see what you want to work with for example like the sniper's nest is something that i feel like is a really good score streak so the sniper's nest went from 1100 to uh 1050 which is uh pretty cool i mean it's not it's not the, it's not a crazy reduction there but it's pretty good and then you know you got other stuff like the attack chopper which is actually increased here um the they increased from uh 1200 to 1300 so it's a little harder to get the attack chopper now so just take a look at that list there guys what have been, what has been increased what has been decreased and, and you know work work properly off of that all right guys and the final thing i wanted to touch on for the update for this video today i want to let you guys know that if you go into the black market and you go over into special orders there is a brand new special order it's called the seasonal uh so it's a seasonal special order it's available for the next six days 21 hours 43 minutes as of this recording right now it's a seasonal fall firearms special order here guys and what you get out of this is actually pretty cool you actually get the uh the divine justice uh strife pistol this was a pre-order bonus from gamestop if you pre-order at gamestop you would get this as a pre-order bonus so i guess it's not exclusive like to gamestop i guess like you know they, they're bringing it here for this special order it costs 2000 cod points on top of that guys you also get another signature weapon if you look all the way at the end here you actually get a signature variant a signature weapon of the maddox here you get the uh the street so you get the street mastercraft here but you get the carbon cobra uh variant signature weapon of the uh, maddox rfb which is awesome that's pretty cool man as we were expecting as we were hoping they are adding signature weapon variants into the uh black market which is great man i think that's i think that's cool um 2000 cod points here guys i'm actually going to be purchasing this uh fall firearm seasonal uh special order here i definitely will because i do want the uh, divine justice even though i don't really use the strike pistol but just to have it here in case like you guys want to see a video on it and stuff like that and obviously that maddox the Maddox's been working lately, so definitely I want that signature weapon as well. So, and so there you guys have it, man. That is the patch update. Those are some of the things that stood out. Obviously, there's a lot more regarding zombies and Blackout and obviously Xbox and PC. Um, there's a lot more, but I just wanted to go over the multiplayer aspect here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Once again, if you're brand new, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, drop a like, all that good stuff, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, man, tomorrow that double XP, that quad feed double XP is coming. So it's grind time, boys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to back out of here. Till the next one, my name is Gray. Peace.